Photos app offers editing tools that help you make simple photo changes such as cropping and rotation. You can also use advanced adjustments to modify color and exposure, remove marks and blemishes, remove red eye, change white balance, and more. Are you ready to turn this into this? In the first step, import your photo into the Photos app. To edit a photo without changing the original, duplicate it first, double-click on it, and then click on Edit. Click the rotation button in the toolbar to rotate the image counterclockwise. Keep clicking until you get the desired orientation. To rotate the photo clockwise, option click the button. Use crop to improve a photo's composition or remove parts of it. Use the available presets to change the aspect ratio or crop it as you like. Apart from cropping, you can rotate the photos to your desired angle. If unsatisfied with any of the processes, you can undo them through Command Z. To flip the image, click Flip to flip the image horizontally. Option click to flip the image vertically. To straighten the photo, drag the straighten, vertical or horizontal slider to adjust its angle. Alternatively, move the pointer outside of the selection rectangle then use the rotation arrow to adjust its angle. To remove the current cropping or straightening changes, click Reset. If you need to cancel the entire process, use Revert to Original. You can apply adjustable filters to give your photos a unique look within Photos. While the photo is open, click the Edit button in the toolbar. To add a filter, click on the Filters button. You'll be presented with various filter options, each with a unique look and feel. Choose the filter you want and use the slider to adjust its intensity. This will allow you to fine-tune the filter effect to your liking. To see the original image, click and hold the Show Photo Without Edits button or press and hold the M key. Once you're happy with your edits, click Done to save your changes. Click the Auto Enhance button to adjust your photo's color and contrast automatically. To undo the changes, press Command Z. You can easily change the light and color of the photo using adjustment tool available in Photos. Click Adjust in Toolbar. Then click the arrow next to Light, Color, or Black and White and adjust the slider to your liking. Additionally, you can click Auto to make automatic corrections. If you want to undo any changes you made to a photo, double-click the adjustment slider you wish to discard. After you make an adjustment, a blue check mark will appear next to the adjustment's name to indicate that you have made a change. You can turn the adjustment on or off by selecting or deselecting the check mark. This will let you see how the photo looks with or without the adjustment. You can fine-tune the adjustments you make to a photo's light settings. Click the arrow next to the option. Drag any of the sliders to change the photo's look. Hold the Option key while positioning the pointer over a slider to extend its range of values. You can precisely adjust the photo's saturation, vibrance, and color cast. Click the arrow next to the color, then click the arrow next to the options. Adjust the photo's appearance by moving any of the sliders. Make fine black and white adjustments. You can fine-tune the intensity of tones and gray areas and change a photo's grain. Enhance the quality of your photo by removing blemishes, dust specks, and other small marks. In the Adjust pane, click the arrow next to Retouch. Drag the size slider to select the brush size. You can also change the brush size by using the left bracket and right bracket keys. Click or drag the brush over the mark to remove it. If you cannot remove the small mark on the first try, try zooming in to make finer adjustments. To copy pixels from another part of the photo, press the Option key while you click an area with the texture you want. Then, use the Retouch tool to apply the change to fix the blemish. Taking a photo with flash can cause red eye. You can remove red eye in live photos without losing playability. Click arrow next to the red eye. Now click Auto. 
the Photos app automatically corrects any instances of red eye in faces detected within photos. If red eye still persists, adjust the size slider until it matches the size of the red area in the person's eye. Position the pointer over the red pupil and click. To white balance the color of a photo with a color cast, change the white balance. This will make the white areas appear more white. Color casts are often caused by lighting conditions such as yellow or blue cast from light fixtures in the location where the photo was taken. Click the arrow next to the white balance. Click the pop-up menu and choose the type of white balance correction you want to make, then click the either upper button and click in the corresponding area of the photo. The curves adjustment can change a photo's brightness and contrast. It also enables you to modify the photo's overall appearance, alter the appearance of particular colors and adjust the settings for the black points, mid-tones and white points. The curves adjustment shows a histogram with a diagonal line from the black point to the white point. Add points along the line to change the brightness or contrast in a photo. Drag up to increase brightness, down to decrease it, left to increase contrast, and right to decrease it. To automatically correct the curves of a photo, click the pop-up menu below curves, choose RGB or the color you want to correct, and then click Auto. To manually set the black point, mid-tones, or white point of the histogram, click the eyedropper button for the point setting you want to change, then click on location in the photo that best represents the black point, mid-tones, or white point of the photo. To manually adjust the color curves of a photo, begin by clicking on Add Points button. This will allow you to click on locations within the photo that you want to modify. You can also click along the diagonal line in the histogram to add points. Each click will add a point to the histogram's diagonal line. Once you've added points, you can adjust the brightness and contrast of a photo by dragging the points to the desired location. To change a photo's red, green, or blue color, click the pop-up menu below curves, then choose the color you want to change. Click the Add Points button and click the locations you want to change in the photo. Drag the points added to the diagonal line to adjust the color in the image. Edit photos by adjusting levels to lighten or darken specific areas. Fine-tune black points, shadows, mid-tones, highlights, and white point settings. You can also modify red, green, and blue colors. Click Adjust in the toolbar. In the Adjust pane, Click the arrow next to the levels. To correct the photo's level automatically, select the levels pop-up menu, choose luminance, RGB, or the color you want to adjust, and then click Auto. To manually adjust levels, drag the handles of the histogram to make the adjustments you want. You can also option drag a handle to move both the top and bottom handles together. To change the color cast of a particular color in a photo, first, click on the pop-up menu below the Levels option. Then, choose the color which you want to make changes to. Afterward, drag the handles to adjust the brightness or darkness level of that color in the photo. To change the histogram to display luminance values instead of RGB values, click on the pop-up menu and select Luminance. This is especially useful when working with black and white photos. The histogram handles will function the same way as they do when the RGB histogram is displayed. You can change a photo's definition settings to add a contour and shape as well as mid-tone definition and local contrast. In the Adjust pane, click the arrow next to the definition. Drag the slider until you're satisfied with the results. You can use selective color adjustment to change specific colors in a photo. Click the arrow next to the selective color, click a color well to select it to store your color range or click the eyedropper button, then click a color in the photo you want to change. With a color selected, drag the sliders to change the color. Hue adjust the hue of the selected color. For example, you might change a magenta hue to red. Saturation increases or decreases the intensity of the selected color. Luminance adjusts the brightness or the amount of light reflected from surface of the selected color. 
Range, adjust the range of colors that change based on your color selection. By changing the range, you can increase or decrease how much similar colors are affected in the photo. For example, by increasing the range of a selected green, you might change all the greens shown in the photo. Or by decreasing the range, you might limit the change to a specific green object. Photos taken in low light may appear with graininess or speckles referred to as noise. You can reduce or eliminate noise in photos. Noise reduction also works with photos in RAW file format. When you edit RAW images, luminance noise, color noise, and detail sliders appear for fine-tuned noise reduction. The sharpen adjustment enhances the sharpness of photo by making the edges crisper and well-defined. Intensity adjusts the strength of the sharpened edges. Edges sets the threshold for which groups of pixels are edges and which aren't. Falloff makes the sharpening effect look more or less prominent. Increasing the falloff value makes the sharpening more severe. Decreasing it softens the effect. To enhance the focus on the center of an image, you can use a vignette to darken the edges of a photo. You have the flexibility to adjust the size and intensity of the vignette to attain the desired look. Additionally, you can soften the vignette to achieve a subtler effect. Don't miss our next video, because this time we want to work on videos together in the Photos app.